Hello, welcome back to another vlog. As you'll have seen, I have just arrived at an unplugged cabin, which is where I'm staying for the next three nights. I'm doing it solo, I'm here on my own, and I'm really looking forward to this. I've done a couple of retreats, but I've never done a solo trip. Oh, and the opportunity came up to come back to an unplugged cabin again this year. I thought, you know what? This is my time to go solo, have the next few days just be about creativity, reconnection and yeah I just feel really I feel really blessed to be here actually before driving up and coming here I did feel a little bit nervous about how the next three days are going to pan out and what what that's going to feel like but now I'm here I just feel great and I'm really excited so the first thing that I need to do is read this which is basically going to be telling me to lock my phone away in this box so yeah that is what I'm going to do. Before I put this away, I've got a couple of people I need to let know that I'm here safe. Do you actually provide you with a Nokia for any like text messages, just anything if you needed it is here, which I think is quite reassuring. It's nice to know, especially as a solo traveler. My plans for the next few days are very chilled, apart from tomorrow. So I actually know the area that I'm staying in. I grew up not far from here and it's relatively close to Snowdonia. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to go to Snowdon. So I am meeting a friend tomorrow and we're gonna drive to Snowdon. After that, I, yeah, don't really have anything planned other than that. I've brought watercolours with me. I've brought so many snacks. I feel like now might be a good time to show my snack selection, actually. For the majority of this day, I'm going to cook here and be here. So, obviously, I had to do a little bit of snack room. I've got... Oh, it's gone a little bit congealed in the car journey. Favourite hummus. Favourite crackers. And then my plan for this evening's dinner and tomorrow, to be honest, is to make fajitas and batch cook them so I've got all of the bits for that. I've got a fajita kit with all the wraps in, some peppers, the teeniest tiniest red onion this cost me 7p. Bought some oat milk with me so I can have plenty. They've got coffee here which isn't decaf but I have brought my own um, but they also have English breakfast tea and chamomile tea so I can drink that. Some kefir, I thought this would be nice for the mornings. Um, I'm just trying to do more to support gut health so yeah I saw that and thought I've had this before, really loved it. Black beans for my fajitas tonight. Very random purchase, I picked up a cookie because I saw it and just liked it. This is from Rhythm 108, it's their vegan hazelnut chocolate praline soft baked filled cookie. I thought how delicious is this going to be to have this while reading my book with a cup of tea to settle me in. I brought a couple of bits from home as well. I have got, this is so random. <laughs> I made some breakfast bagels and I realised I kind of, I didn't forget that I was coming here, but I had things that I needed to use so they didn't go out of date. So I've brought this with me tomorrow for a quicker breakfast before Snowden, or I might even take it with me actually to have on Snowden, but yeah. A little bagel, cottage cheese, because I'm trying to increase my protein uptake for like the hormone balance and all that sort of stuff. So I brought some of that as a snack. Some little leftover mini oat crackers. My drink for the morning, this is a mud water spiced cacao and mushroom beverage blend. So it's just like a blend of loads of nice things that I can have in the morning. Just realized annoyingly, I haven't actually picked up any fruit for this, but this is my Alara cereals muesli. So I'll have this tomorrow morning with this and then I might end up going to a shop and picking up some fruit. You can tell with this that I've just raided my cupboards for leftovers and thought, what can I bring with me? I brought a handful of almonds. Why not? What else have I got? I brought some garlic with me because I knew whatever I'd cook would probably have garlic in it. With these little sachets of tea from Twinings, this is my current favourite. The Quiet Mind one. It smells really nice. Daily supplements, wild nutrition ones. I'm going to pop those there to remember to take them. Hay fever tablets. Let me actually show you around this cabin because I realised I haven't even done that yet. So I feel like this is the most exciting thing about these unplugged cabins. They are quite literally in the middle of nowhere. And the fact that you get to wake up to this for you Oh, and just be surrounded by nature. Pure bliss, pure bliss. There's a little mirror here, which is helpful. This log burner, which if it was cold enough, I would definitely be using a log burner, but it's actually quite warm today. So I've got all of these bits up here 
some amazing books. I've actually read a couple of these. The Salt Path, one of my favourites. Digital Minimalism is really good. And Factfulness, we also have this. So three out of the five, but I can read the other two. There's also a tape player in here, which I don't feel like I noticed last time. We have Spice Girls, which hasn't been opened, but might get cracked open at some point. They're all the kitchen. Through here is the bathroom. Again, amazing view. It's completely off grid, but I just feel like it's done really well. Obviously you've got a mirror there, hand wash, lovely little sink area, and then there is a shower here. This might be a little bit random and strange to say, but I'm pleasantly surprised by how at peace I feel here. I definitely felt anxious before coming and my mind was racing with whether, first of all, I'd actually enjoy it because it's so remote. I think part of me thought that it'd be easy to be distracted and in a city with loads to do. My mission for the next couple of days is to make a dent in this. This is our Story Social Book Club pick for June, The Marriage Portrait. I'm at the point where I'm starting to get into it a little bit more, so it's good because I mean, I'm just gonna wanna read this all night. I have also bought some watercolors, which I'm really excited to try. I was looking at some techniques on YouTube last night because I've never done it before. Um, and yeah, I just feel really good being here. It feels amazing. Obviously it is slightly different because ideally, if you came and did something like this, you wouldn't even vlog it because I'm aware that this is still a digital thing and I'm working in a sense. But I feel like now, I mean, setting up the tripod and putting my camera on there, it's second nature to me. It just feels, oh, the sun's coming out. Um, yeah, it just, I've done it for so many years that it doesn't feel like a chore. Whenever I do things like this, I'm able to still experience it. And that's always my thing with it. Like I, if I can come and I can still experience it whilst creating the amount of content that's required or whatever it is, I will do it. And I feel like it's very easy. It feels, I find it easy and enjoyable basically, so it's part of my experience. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with reading this. And then I think in probably like an hour's time, make some dinner. Makeup is off, pyjamas are on. I'm gonna read and do a bit of journaling and I hope, my hope is, that I'll fall into a blissful sleep quite naturally. And also actually, I have got this from Mirror Water, their rub balm. So I'm gonna like do a little bit of a self massage. I have noticed actually, it's around half nine now, I haven't looked at my watch in a while. Um, as the evening's gone on, I felt just a little bit more unease and like I needed to put the radio on I just wanted a bit of background noise and I think previously part of me would have felt like oh I'm failing at this why can't I just be really zen and in the moment without needing to have that there but this is a new experience and yeah I'm just trying to remember I'm trying to rationalize my thoughts because my thoughts are around i mean it's like a scarcity thing because i've not done this before before i came here i went on the unplugged website and they've got an entire section for solo travelers and reading people's reviews and experiences have actually really put me at ease because it is quite a unique situation to come on a solo trip somewhere that's so remote as you'll have seen i made dinner which was kind of like fajitas basically the the kit wasn't great <laughs> i mean obviously the kit wasn't great but i just didn't want to have to buy loads of individual things anyway i made it with black beans and one of the black beans got stuck in my throat and instantly it was so interesting to see my instincts kick in the thought came to me that because i'm quite isolated here if anything happens to me who's here to save me you know anyway i'm gonna sign the vlog off here for the evening and maybe check back in tomorrow morning. I'm gonna see because I'm leaving for Snowden around eight from here. So yeah, just see if it gives me enough time to check in. It's 
a bit gloomy, but we're here. I think we should walk back on that path. It is up through there and it joins on to the halfway across here. Yeah. Wow. It's Wednesday morning. As you've seen, I've just had the most slow, relaxing morning. Woke up naturally at eight. <clears throat> Obviously, pulled up the blackout blinds and have this view. So I got I actually got back into bed and read my book for a little bit. I think today I'm definitely going to do a walk and just do a little bit of exploring around this area and go into the local town and get a decaf coffee and then come back just to break up the day a little bit and see people and just be out in nature. Last night, you'll have seen, I filmed a couple of clips. The deer that come into this field, honestly, I'm really, it's really interesting actually to come back to this a year later because I definitely feel more able to just do nothing. And I feel like that's something that seems so small and easy, but a year ago, I would have felt agitated or feel like I need to reach for my phone and coming back here a year on, having changed some of my habits with my phone and just not being on it as much, reducing my screen time, I feel like I don't need that dopamine as much and this day has really proven that to me. So yeah, I feel really good about that. Anyway, so recap on yesterday. I didn't do much filming because I thought actually, I really wanna write about this experience of coming to Unplugged and obviously experiencing it as someone, not just a content creator. So I'm gonna put my camera down a little bit and really just immerse myself in it. Obviously I went to Snowdon, we didn't actually climb to the peak because it was around minus seven, we just didn't have the stuff for it. So we did a good loop though. Bought this watercolour set from Sostra and Gren. So I've just got watercolour paper and this little kit. I can open it, made a bit of a mess in it now. But I've just really enjoyed that. I just sat here last night and painted the view. It turned out okay. I've never done it before. Um, and it's not really for me about how the end product looks, but more just getting into the flow of being creative in that way. Today is just going to be another very slow, relaxed day. I've had to light the fire. I don't know if you can hear it crackling. It's pretty cold today. I don't know what the temperature is. Obviously, I don't have my phone to check things like that. But it felt cold enough to warrant having the fire on, which is weird. It's the middle of June. What is going on? As you guys can tell from the last vlog, my hair is quite frizzy and unpredictable and I still haven't figured out how to style it, especially now it's a little bit lighter and a bit more damaged. So I've decided not to wash it because there isn't, like I can't plug a hairdryer or straighteners in here to tame it if I needed to. So it's all scraped back. I have put this little scrunchie in which I thought was cute. Just my little wart later. Um, and yeah, there really isn't much to report on other than the fact that I'm feeling very chilled. I'm so glad that I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone and come and done this.
a bit later now I've just been doing some painting and then I've actually decided to start reading this book it's one from the shelf it's Do Nothing by Celeste Headley I thought I'm gonna be really honest about something here so I deleted Twitter because I just found it was another platform I couldn't keep up with and didn't really want and I also removed everyone that wasn't a really really close friend off of Facebook and I even put limits in terms of what I could see on my timeline so basically when I went on Facebook I just didn't have access or I still don't have access to anything it's just it's basically just there because it links to Instagram and need it for business purposes anyway I'm just reading this and it's really interesting because it basically says that research shows we know that most people lurk on Facebook. For example, they read other people's posts and glance through their pictures during most of their time spent on the platform, comparing their own lives to someone else's created experience. The behaviour erodes well-being and eventually makes you unhappy. And that, for me, was my experience, which is why I just removed everyone. I mean, I did this years ago. I feel like it was probably around 2019. And I just realised that I'd had enough of going on there and seeing other people's lives even though it was things that they were creating and sharing I felt like I was lurking and that's what I did I would just go on there and then before I knew it I was looking at someone's parents photos and being like why am I here what am I doing and basically I just felt really nosy on it and it just didn't make me feel good it definitely for me eroded well-being and now I just don't have Facebook and it's the same with Twitter now I don't have these platforms in the way that they're built to be used I don't miss them so yeah just major food for thought and it's making me think more about how I use Instagram really enjoying this and thought I would let you know um before I make some dinner and yeah just have another restful evening <sighs> Just making most of the evening out here. I've done a little bit of packing actually because tomorrow morning, I don't think I've mentioned this, <laughs> I'm going straight from this very slow couple of days to Manchester. It's going to be a full but really good day. I'm meeting two of my really close friends in the morning who I just don't get to see that often because they live in Manchester. So I'm meeting them there. And then Jay's meeting me there because we're seeing Foo Fighters in the evening. So <laughs> it really is a bit of a contrast, but yeah I've had just a really really lovely time here I've just been sat here like reflecting on the experience and I feel ready to go back like I'm excited tomorrow morning to go back to my life which when I think about this time last year when I went to Unplugged I really did feel I mean I've spoke about this in a lot of the content I've done around social media I felt it felt necessary like I needed I was addicted to it <laughs> and um yeah, just feeling like I have more control over it now and coming here feels really good. And definitely going to Unplugged the first time last May was the start of me feeling like, okay, I really need to take a hold of how much time I'm spending on my phone, how much time I'm spending just on tech in general, looking at screens and thinking about what I can start replacing that with. So yeah, just had a really lovely couple of days. I think I'm going to sign the vlog off here actually because this evening I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga actually but then get into bed read my book and tomorrow morning I probably won't really pick up the camera because I'll just be getting on the road so thank you so much for joining me I am gonna do a substack write-up on my experience as well so I'll leave a link to my substack if you aren't over there already and yeah I'll see you in next Sunday's video